welcome to Physics Minutes. I'm your host, Pauline, and today we're going to be looking at the third and final law of motion. Originally put forth by Sir Isaac Newton, this law states that forces come in pairs, so that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Definitely the least intuitive of Newton's three laws, we can use a couple of examples to actually make this easier to understand, so let's go take a look. Let's say you have a small boat and you pull it up next to a dock. If you line your boat up close enough, you can make the jump. However, if you haven't attached your boat to the dock, you're about to see Newton's third law in action. As you push yourself off the boat, you're experiencing a force that is propelling you forwards. However, that must mean there is an equal and opposite force pushing back on the boat. If that force is great enough, you may be in for a surprise. This same basic principle is what allows rockets to fly. They carry massive amounts of fuel, which they eject very quickly. As the fuel exits the rocket, it exerts a force upwards on the rocket itself, pushing it up. So we showed you two examples. One was a boat and one was a rocket. Boats are too expensive, so we're going to show you a rocket using this two liter pop bottle. Water will be our rocket fuel, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pressurize this water bottle using this bicycle pump. As the pressure builds up inside of the water bottle, eventually it'll become great enough that the water will shoot out the bottom of the bottle, and eventually the bottle will push up due to the action-reaction forces. If we look at this in slow motion, we can clearly see that as the rocket blasts off, it's ejecting water at the back, which pushes it up and away. So today we learned about Newton's third law. Thanks for watching Physics Minutes, and we'll see you next time.